The witch is coming. 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 Oh, the witch is coming. <laughs> the witch is coming. Oh, the witch is coming. Oh, no. The witch. The witch. The witch. Bra, 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 bra. get that but you know two thirds of a bottle three eighths i don't know i whispers of a dying ghost i don't know how much i'm supposed to use there's no like markers on this bottle what am i supposed to do here i mean this is oh oh hey guys uh let me call you back we'll, we'll work on the spell later all right thank you bye bye all right, just working on a spell for more hair. Hi right, guys, welcome to Thursday. Yes, it is Thursday. It is Independent Living Thursday. And yes, I was working on a spell for more hair. But all week we've been working on perspective and independent living and self-worth. So what does that independent living have to do with perspective and self-worth? Well. I'm trying something new. I'm trying to create a spell to do a little something for myself because I'm worth it. I'm worth the effort of trying a new spell and I'm worth the effort of maybe having some more hair on the top of my head. But ultimately the idea is that we gotta shift our perspective sometimes when it comes to independent living. And that is, I'm not a good cook. Everybody knows that. Well, our staff know that from our competitions where I've presented some tasty treats that have not turned out to be so tasty but that doesn't deter me why because my perspective is is I have many more opportunities to try and create a very tasty dessert for our staff to love and enjoy so for yourselves when it comes to independent living you should consider the perspective of right now I'm cooking cup of noodles but I'd really like to cook spaghetti and you know what that's not too far of a stretch. Perspective is, I can do that. Self-worth is, I'm worth doing that. I'm worth learning how to cook myself spaghetti versus cup of noodles. Now don't get me wrong, cup of noodles are actually pretty good. I don't eat them anymore, pretty high in sodium, but spaghetti is outstanding. So let's work on that. So it's important to understand that when it comes to independent living and doing things on your own, that Shifting your perspective is gonna help you be more successful and gain the things you need. We all know about advocacy and advocating for the things that are right for us, but sometimes our perspective has to be right in order to advocate appropriately. And I choose to advocate for good spaghetti. So we can say that I wanna to learn to cook that. And we can shift our perspective to say, hey, I can cook that. I can do it. This is gonna be awesome. We're gonna give it a shot. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, we can try again. Perspective. We can do it again. We can try many times. Failure is just one step in the process to success. So, I want you guys to all think about and consider trying something new. Simple, basic, something that's in your realm, something that you want to do, but maybe isn't too far of a stretch right? I would like to be an indie car driver. That is not going to happen today or tomorrow or in a month or in a year. That takes a lot. That's a much further goal. So perspective is also keeping our goals and the things that we want to do, especially when it comes to independent living within realm. A proper perspective is I can learn how to cook spaghetti good over the course of a weekend. That's a great opportunity. All right, so I want you guys to figure out some perspective things that you want to work on, some food you want to try, things you want to learn. And you know what? If you want to, comment about, hey, I need a little help. Perspective. There's people out there that will help me. That's awesome. All right, guys, so let's 
check out what our cool, ghoulish friends got for us on this outstanding Thursday. Good morning, everybody. It's October the 22nd, Thursday. And today's national day is Make a Dog's Day. How cool can that be, right? Make it your dog's best day. Or go to a shelter and visit a dog. If you don't have a dog, or if you know a dog, I have a dog. I've had her for two years now. And Sasha, a lot of you see her. She walks through the videos all the time. She's his family, that's for sure. But ever since I've been home, it's made every day her best day. Best day My goodness, her best life. So I will grow now. She's me. But go on and make a dog's day. Make it their best day. On National Make a Dog Day. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, it's time to learn about the two free games at the Epic Game Store this week. This week they have Layers of Fear 2. It is a psychological horror game. You play the an actor on a cruise ship. You got a part um, for a role on a an acting job on a cruise ship. It is exploration um, emphasis. So you're gonna be wanting to look around this place. It's first person and it's super creepy. It's it's mature rating, so be an adult when you're playing this thing. Um, is I've seen, I haven't seen the entire thing. I haven't played the entire thing, but it's very creepy. There are some parts of it that are very well done with your computer um, graphics work there, guys. Um, Layers of Fear 2, check it out. Free at the Epic Games Costume Store. Costume Quest 2. This one is, it's cute, okay? It's a turn-based, um, but what you're doing is you're, you're running around, I believe it's called Hall Halloween Land or something like that. And you're looking for um, candy and costumes. Um, you're, you're battling these hygiene obsessed bad guys, you know, under, the opposite of the real world, you know. Um, you're chasing after you, trying to keep you away from your candy. There you go. Costume Quest 2 and Layers of Fear 2. Both free this week on the Epic Game Store. Get them while they're there because. Um, Next Thursday, early in the morning, like at nine or eight or something like that, they switch to the next two. For the week. <laughs> Boo! Clyde Bigsby here, and I'm here to ask you can you survive a scary movie situation? Well, if you're one of the people that I'm about to describe, you probably won't. That's right, the irritating person in the movie. You know, the annoying one. That's like everybody's talking, trying to think all serious, and they're like, nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 Hey, let's do this. No, that won't work. Nya, nya, nya. Well, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. They've always got a better answer. Or they're just so scared to hear a bump in the night, and they're like, ah, they're screaming and shouting, and even the... People watching the movies are like, yeah, we want this one to, you know, huh, right? All right. So there you have it. Don't be the irritating person in a scary movie situation, or you just might get, that's it. So Clyde makes me here, and remember, these tips are to help you, not me, because whoop, nothing scares Clyde Bixby. All right, well, you guys take care. Ah! Nothing scares Clyde Bixby. <laughs> 
So you're telling me I need three and three eighths of dragon tears? How am I gonna make? I don't even know what that looks like. Holy! Oh, hey, uh, all right, we'll continue this later. I really like this spell idea, but uh, I'll call you back later. Thanks, Mike. All right, so our friends, our cool, ghoulish friends, were outstanding as always. So thank you very much for joining us on this Thursday. We will see you tomorrow on Friday for some awesome movie picks of many different kinds. Hope you like the Halloween edition. Oh wait, I guess every edition is a Halloween edition. Halloween movie binge worthies from last week. That was pretty cool. Anyway, we'll check out some cool stuff tomorrow on Friday. Have a great rest of your Thursday for the morning routine. We'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Take care, bye.